Hi there crew members, Starfleet personnel. Welcome to another epic deep dive into this interior build of the original 1701 USS Enterprise. Right, let's get into it. Where are we? We are on the outer edge of deck seven in the saucer section. In a previous video that I did, I explained that I'd made a big mistake on these superstructures here that you're seeing now. I made the curvature too deep. I've corrected that now, I've fixed that. And as I was doing these new superstructures, here's another one laid down, ready to go into position. But as I was doing that, you know, that I have the tendency to get a little bit carried away. And what I'm going to show you now is three of the almost finished 1 100th scale crew quarters. Three of the crew members kindly stepped up and uh, volunteered to show us their quarters. So here we have crew member McBride to crewman Powell coming across to crewman Penn. Thank you guys for being so ready to step up and uh, show us your quarters. And th this is not fiction, these are real people that I'm talking about. They are my patrons supporting this project. And um, you may or may not know that when you become a patron on level two, you are automatically assigned private quarters on board this ship. Now again, I'll just remind you that this is the 1 100th scale. Most of you know now that, that are familiar with this channel that this 1 100th scale will then be scaled up to the massive 1 25th scale. Okay, but this here, what you're seeing now is still going to be a finished model and it's going to be the entire ship. And if I just pull around here, and show you this model on the floor. This model was used in a previous video and what you're seeing now is how this model looked when it was filmed. It's a very rough model of the Enterprise and the whole thing was done just to show how people will be able to walk around the display and, um, and view the model when it's on display. But this is a small model. So I'll just zoom in on that so you can uh, get an idea of the saucer section there it is same thing it actually looks huge when you film it from low down so this is just to put some perspective on how epic even this 1 100th scale is going to be because this here what you're seeing is just a tiny portion of the saucer section deck 7 saucer section and if I just come round to this angle uh, you can see how much bigger this 1 100th scale is compared to the model that is on the floor. So then, with a little bit of imagination, maybe you can get the idea of how insanely huge the 1 25th scale is going to be. The saucer section alone on that finished big model is going to be 17 feet in diameter. The full finished model will be 40 feet long and 11 feet high. So that's just crazy. But I'm, I'm so happy with these. these. These are really... Let's just take a look at a little bit of the detail. Let's come down into the quarters. So there you can see that familiar mesh, the divider between the, uh, the living room and the bedroom. And there's crew member Penn having a bit of a snooze. <laughs> if we come over here, we can see the bathroom. And yes, there were bathrooms and toilets on the USS Enterprise, even though we never saw them. So there it is. And they even have a little shower room there, which is also a, a little private sauna. Coming across, here's crewman, crewman Powell coming into his quarters. The door is open. And again, there's that beautiful classic Star Trek uh, mesh dividing the rooms. He's already put some uh, 
some pictures on the wall and if you not see these overhead uh, beams here these support beams here notice that they are different colors so I, I did this primarily just to differentiate so this is like purple and this goes to a very light grey these, uh, these support panels I've had an idea about this that these support panels are not just support panels they're also lighting panels so I'm thinking that perhaps could it be a good idea that there is a, a control mechanism in the crew quarters that can change the lighting on these panels so like you know late at night when you're kind of ready for bed, you've finished your shift, these can be turned down to a very low, you know, very low orange, a soothing orange, or a, a nighttime purple, or whatever. Let me know what you think about that in the comments section. Lighting panels on the ship. Now, let me just take you along this main superstructure here. So again, this is deck seven, this is deck six, and then here is the deck spacing in between the levels. So let's just walk along here because we have the outer, the huge outer corridor on deck seven, which we never saw on the show. The corridor that we did see on the show is much further back in towards the center of deck seven. And there you can see the double transporters or at least the line layout for the double transporters. This is the transporter room that we're familiar with, and this is the opposite one. There are four of these on deck seven. So I'm really looking forward to getting into building those, the transporter rooms. Now, as you know, when, when the crew beamed up, or when they beamed up, they came out here and they always walked down this corridor and then here, this would be sick bay, the sick bay area. So the corridor that we saw in the show was actually this here, much further in. So you can see the absolute size of this ship. If I just pull out and see that the area that we just saw with the crew quarters is like way out on the outer edge. Let's just have a look now at the underside of the saucer and this... Uh, this curvature of the superstructure. I'm just loving this because I'll tell you in a minute, I'll get carried, I'll ramble on, I'll just show I'll just show you this first. So we're coming down now under the saucer to those uh, superstructures where we get the curvature. Hope you can see that. I hope it's clear. There. You can clearly see that curvature here. And then from this part here, then you will get deck eight. Deck 9, Deck 10 and 11 sweeping down to the bottom here. And then the outer rim of Deck 7 moving around here. But I'm super pleased with this curvature. I, personally I think it's looking really good. Because as these structures develop, it will actually be these superstructures that are holding the outer edge of the saucer stable with the inner edge because this area here all of this will be cut out and removed and then the superstructures will be placed holding the whole thing in place so now I'll, ju I'll just lay this down on the floor so that you can get an idea of the of the epic size of this 1 100 scale saucer section so we're starting off in Crewman McBride's quarters and then we're just going to pull right up so that you can see the full size. So there it is. I mean we're quite high up now over that saucer and um, there's, there's my work table just for reference, size reference and there is the entire 1 100 scale saucer section and then just behind it you can see that smaller uh, much smaller actually saucer section of that test model that I showed in a previous video 
So you can see, I mean, just looking at these models now, you can see the complexity of this build and why this is a major project that is going to take a while. This 1-100 scale version, I'm looking to the end of August this year before the entire ship is finished. And this is not part time, so I, I'm, I'm working on this full time, every day, six days a week. Now let's take a look at how that finished segment relates to the dorsal section. So there is the 1100 scale dorsal section now attached to the saucer section. Let's just come around here so we can see the interior of this finished model of the dorsal. So we have all the decks in the dorsal. Uh, we can see engineers working on various levels of that dorsal and then travelling all the way up to connect to the saucer. And uh, the, the underneath of the saucer here, it looks a bit rough, that's because it's not being sprayed yet, but it will be sprayed uh, USS Enterprise Grey. And I think this shot here gives a really nice view of the superstructures, the curving superstructures of the, of the undercut, and how that relates right there to uh, deck eight of the dorsal. We can even see some crew members, maybe Kirk and Scotty, walking down the corridor on deck eight. And then those superstructures of the saucer rising above. Now, the thing that I'm really, really enjoying about this is that, as you know, for one year I was doing test models, rough cardboard test models, which you can see in all the previous videos. Um, I did that for a year and they were all in isolation. So even though I had a good feeling for the ship, um, uh, even with those test models in the amount that I did, I still couldn't really truly get a feel for how the whole thing was going to start coming together as a complete ship. And now I can. Now I can because because there you go, deck six, deck seven, down into the dorsal. And as this progresses, the, the whole ship will begin to become more coherent as a single model and not just uh, individual test pieces. What you may have noticed at the moment is the dorsal is actually in the wrong position because the dorsal comes up here and then this should be impulse engineering so this isn't a mistake it's just that I haven't made impulse engineering yet um, and when I do of course that dorsal will be placed in the correct position and fixed into position really can't wait to get into this now it this is becoming just seriously seriously exciting and just some of these views I mean Look at that, looking down through deck 7, through the source of deck 7, and then we can see all those levels of the dorsal down there. There's one thing that I really, really love about the Enterprise. There are so many areas, so many levels. You know, all the different areas of the ship have a different feeling. Because, I mean, we've not even started on deck 5, deck 4. Deck 8, which will be down underneath here, the, the enormous recreation facility. Um, the, the whole ship has got a completely different feeling. You know, you, you might be up here in your crew quarters and then the entire secondary hull will be all the way down here. All the way back and then the, the hangar deck will be way back towards the, the back of the ship. A brief pause here just to let you know that this 125th scale 
finished turbo lift model, scratch built model, is up for auction. Take a look. There we go with the double doors from the turbo lift and the, the doors to the deck. So this 125th scale model is up for auction. If you are interested, send me your bid at mrtrek1701 at gmail.com. Place your bid and let's see. And of course, if you're new to the channel, give the Enterprise a little bit of a push into interstellar space and you can do that by clicking the sub button and also clicking the like button. It's really appreciated. The link to my Patreon is in the description. So if you want to get on board this ship as a real crew member like McBride, Penn and Powell and the other 188 crew member patrons supporting this mission, then simply go over to the Patreon and uh, sign up. As always, I hope the video finds you well. I can't wait to get back to work on this now and complete more of this saucer section. Really looking forward to getting into these transporter rooms and uh, into sick bay as well. See you soon with the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Shh.